the 2D plan view is a really great way to be able to look at your lighting rig visually on a 2D plane while you're programming. It can really help speed up the selection of fixtures and give you a graphical representation of what's going on on your stage. To get to the 2D plan view, we're going to go to workspaces, and in the default workspaces, it's in the compose workspace on the left hand side. Perfect. We can see here in the training show file there's already 2D plan view created, but when you're starting from scratch, here's how you add a fixture to the 2D plan view. First thing you want to do is select that fixture. Now we've covered this already, but you can do that via the command line, via the groups and presets windows, or the fixture center, which pops out here. You can then go to grab your fixtures, gonna grab some Rush MH6s, hide that fixture center, and we're gonna click this triangle where it says live mode. Now we're in edit mode and we can tell because we've got the flashing pencil where it says edit. Now we'll go over to add. We can see here that it tells us to select type to add, which is fixtures, and then it gives us some different add modes. Let me demonstrate those for you. The first add mode is single. If we click place fixture, it now says place fixture one of four here at the top of the screen. And so we literally just click, and then it tells us to place the second fixture. We move our mouse and click, three and four. And we've now placed all the fixtures. Another add mode is the line add mode. I particularly like this one because it allows you to quickly arrange your fixtures in straight lines, how they're often hung on a truss. Click place fixture, and you can then click and drag while watching your line move across the screen. Let go and the fixtures are placed. Similarly, the squiggly line allows you to hit place fixtures and then draw a free form line that the fixtures are evenly distributed on. This helps if you've brought an image into your 2D plan and you're following some sort of set piece or something like that. Next, we can do a circle, which is perfect, of course, for circle trusses. As you click and drag out, the circle gets bigger or smaller, and the fixtures are evenly distributed around that circle. Last is the grid. You define how many columns you want, and press place fixtures and click and drag to draw your grid. Again, depending on where you drag your mouse, the size and the spacing between the fixtures is going to change. To arrange fixtures in the 2D plan, you simply select by dragging a box or selecting or deselecting individual fixtures, and then you're able to move them around with your mouse. There's also a few tools that are available that I'd like to show you now. So if I click and drag these four fixtures right here, I can then press align, and I'm able to align them all left, right, down, or up. I'm gonna go with up, and it's now aligned those four fixtures to the point of the highest fixture of those that I selected. Down works the opposite, and the left and right are for when you're working vertically in the space. There's also a spread control. This allows you, if you click on it, to evenly spread your fixtures horizontally, like I just did, and vertically, so that you make sure they're lined up perfect. You can also change fixtures you've already placed on the 2D view to lay out in a circle or matrix.